try out the Walmart grocery pickup and I wanted to bring you guys along and let you guys see my experience and whether or not I think it's something that I would do again so I went ahead and I placed my order and it is supposed to be ready between the hours of 4 and 5 today so we're gonna go there and pick up all of our stuff but first we had to make a quick pit stop to the bank so come on along and let's go pick up our order hey guys so i just wanted to quickly come on and let you guys know um my experience as far as navigating throughout the app and it was really really easy i was able to um find pretty much everything that i was looking for but yeah it wasn't difficult trying to figure out um all of the stuff that i needed for my order and then um i just went to the search bar and then i just started typing in um like bread i just typed it in and then it had a whole list of different types of bread so yeah that was super easy and then also once you um select whatever the item is that you want it'll have um a little thing underneath it a tab underneath it um and it has like the amount so you're able to put in how much of everything that you want to check to see if everything that I had put in so far um, was loaded and it was so then I just um, continued shopping Get the ranch dressing. So yeah guys, um, I also noticed that um, with the meat, it just had um, an average price for everything, but that ended up not being um, the price. So ultimately it was whichever um, packet of meat that the uh, employee chose. So the only thing that was for sure the correct price was the ground beef, as far as fresh meat goes. The reservation expired just because I had, I guess you can consider a big order. So I just had to pick another time slot, but it wasn't too bad. Yeah. 
So there was one unavailable item, and that was the pork center that was Okay. And that was it, everything else uh, was fixed for it. Okay. So do y'all just uh, refund that back on? Yes, home? you refund that back to your account. Okay, unloaded out of the car um, but I did want to let you guys know what I thought was really cool was that they have like these little tags um, that specify if things are fragile or not so they put all of our eggs in this one with this tag and quickly I just want to check to see if any of our eggs are broken nothing is broken in this bag um i also do want to let you guys know that the gentleman that um brought all of our things to the car he was really really nice so he had really good customer service and so far i think that this may be the way to go for me and my family ordering online and then picking everything up but i'm not noticing anything right now However, if I do notice that something is damaged or if we don't have all of our stuff that we ordered, I will come back and follow up and let you guys know. whether or not they would give us messed up produce, but it looks like it's pretty good. Um, the jalapeno looks fine. The strawberries look fine. I don't see any molded strawberries right off the bat. Um, we like hard fruit, so the mangoes are not like really mushy. They're not mushy at all, so they did good with that. Um, the pineapple looks okay. Our cilantro looks really good. 
And then I always check my apples and they look good too. So yeah, all in all, um, we don't have any um, problems with anything. So we was really satisfied with everything that we got. And I think that this is the way for us to go. So that is the end of this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.